Oklahoma man finds two thieving thugs in his home, delivers instant brutal justice. An Oklahoma man was recently awakened in the middle of the night by a strange noise. Moments later, he was confronted in the dark by two thieving thugs and delivered a dose of brutal instant justice, and rightfully so. According to local news source News on 6, a shocking home invasion took place just after 9 p.m. on Thursday, October 26, 2017, in Sand Springs, Oklahoma. Lowell Dodson, the homeowner who police say was staying at a house he was remodeling, woke up to the sound of some strange commotion just before he was confronted by two intruders. Only seconds before, the homeowner made a decision that probably saved his life, he had grabbed his rifle. According to local news source Quarter, police said that 37-year-old James Edward Patterson and 18-year-old Brandon Lee Gray had both entered the victim's home unlawfully and had intended to burglarize the property. Dodson, who was already on edge from a burglary earlier that day, was armed and ready to handle business when the punks showed up in his home near 2nd Street and Franklin Avenue. Captain Todd Insprinter of the Sand Springs Police Department said that the homeowner opened fire on the two men, knocking Patterson to the ground. When police arrived, they found Patterson dying just outside Dodson's back door. Patterson was declared dead a short time later, making this the last time Patterson would victimize an innocent person or break into someone's home. When we show up and there's a body outside, the investigation is a little more intense in that, he's not inside. Does that make sense? So, was he shot outside? Was he shot inside? Insbrenner explained. When he confronted him with voice commands, the light went off. He saw a rustle of people, thought they were coming at him, he added. This is when police said that Dodson opened fire on the punks. Patterson was shot once in the chest. He just started firing his weapon. And he didn't know that he shot anybody. Until we got there. Insbrenner said. According to police, Dodson had called the 911 and told the dispatcher that one of the suspects ran away but that he had detained the other. I don't want to kill you. So don't move, Dodson said. The dispatcher then asked Dodson, and you have him inside your house? Dodson replied, I do, I'm holding him at gunpoint. While waiting for the police to arrive, Dodson scolded Gray, the 18-year-old intruder for his manners. Put that cigarette out, and do it right now, Dodson said to Gray. When the cops arrived, they arrested Gray, and he was charged with first-degree felony murder and first-degree burglary. Gray was reportedly booked into the Sand Springs jail and then transferred to the Tulsa jail on Friday. Gray is prohibited from posting bail. Under Oklahoma's murder statute, a person involved in a felony crime can be charged with felony murder if a death results from the felony act. It would appear that Gray is going to be doing some hard time after messing with the wrong homeowner. Following the shooting, Patterson's aunt, Buffy de Graffenreid, said she was stunned by what happened. Think of his children, what they're gonna think now. Their father's gone, she said, according to News on 6. Patterson was arrested by Sandpoint police officers just two weeks before his death after they responded to a call of domestic violence. Well, Patterson should have considered his children before attempting to break into an innocent man's home. Once again, the Second Amendment pulls its own weight. An innocent homeowner protected his life and property with a rifle against two thieving thugs who broke into his residence with very bad intentions. There are several other stories across the news from the same week as this story, where the homeowner or victim didn't survive the incident or was badly hurt. Thank God, this homeowner made the decision to be the primary person responsible for his own safety. It won't be long before the mainstream media goes on the attack against Dotson and tries to make him look like the aggressor in this situation. Liberal news outlets always want to make the criminal look like the victim and this case will be no different. They will attempt to tug at America's heartstrings with pictures or stories of the dead man's now fatherless children because, for the left, it is never about personal responsibility and consequences. In their world, there are no absolutes and there is no right or wrong. Horrific stories like this really do strip that liberal ideology down to its core nature, utter crap. Our prayers go out to the homeowner who was forced to defend his life and property. 
He is the real victim, real victim.